All right, XRP Army, it's very important that we talk about what's going on right now. I'm going to show you the price chart. I'm going to show you what's happening. I'm going to show you what my prediction was. I'm going to remind you why I'm always right. And then we're going to talk about two big pieces of information that are going to make a big difference in the XRP community. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button down below. Okay, first, what I gave you was that there would probably be a dip down into this 45, 46, 47 cent range that we would get an opportunity. Now, that was before we had... Uh, what was going on with the SEC kind of uh, creating this dunk opportunity. Now we did that and what we've done at this point is kind of move sideways. Now I don't like the structure of this uh, sideways movement because it is creating uh, this sort of pattern. This the flag A flag like that usually indicates downward momentum. So there is a possibility of a dump in coming. However, here's the problem with that if you were considering that to be uh, on in the cards, if you will. And, and by the way, if you note here, I haven't talked about the actual breakout time because I don't think that we were in the actual spot for the breakout. They, I think that comes a little bit later on this month. The next step here is gonna be an impulse move into the 60 cent range, which I think we're probably gonna to get to very, very soon. And I'll tell you why in just one second here. But I think that on, on this, again, we've got downward momentum, but the market seems to be in good straits. Now, we found a spot around 53, 54 cents that we seem to be comfortable with in trading for the moment. And the question at this point would be, you know, what is the impulse that moves it up? Well, guess what? I've got those impulses. We got two big articles that just came out. One, XRP institutional buying rises 266% amid Ripple versus SEC appeal. What does that mean to you? Well, it means that retail is what's dumping on the chart because they don't want to get caught up in this long and ongoing sort of situation. But let me tell you, I'm going to reiterate to you, this is dead. This is a dead deal. There's no path forward for the SEC. The SEC is going to fight as long as Gary Gensler is in charge, but no matter who becomes president, Gary Gensler is out. So this is all much ado about nothing, but it creates a buy opportunity. Institution is recognizing this buy opportunity and they're doing something about it they're accumulating. Now, when we find this out, what does that mean? That means that now we look at, you know, what's the next move, right? Next move is for retail who just sold off to say, oh, wait a minute, I shouldn't have sold off and they're going to get back in. So that's what this means. We've got inflows coming. And by the way, this is a big $1.1 million weekly fund flow. This is a big one for XRP. This is uh, turning its tail on everything out here. Look at this inflow right here. So we look at the weekly flows by assets, and this is in millions, 419 million for Bitcoin. Ethereum had outflows, multi-assets 1.5. However, who's number one after Bitcoin? It's right there, XRP. What does that mean? That means that people who are institution got in. Now, what does that mean? That means the next set of the next set of news that you're going to hear coming out about XRP, it's going to be good. And it's going to be, look, guys, it's all a game. It's all a game. So if you don't have some XRP right now, right now be an opportune time to buy at about 53 and a half cents because I would suspect that very, very shortly we're going to get that impulse move back up to 60 cents. I think that this is going to get shrugged off. China, uh, China just released economic stimulus. It, it's it's still unknown exactly what that stimulus looks like, but China has economic stimulus. We have an election in, I want to say, 23 days or something like that, where we'll know who the next president is going to be. Either one of them is going to be better than the current administration, although one of them is in the current administration, but a VP has no power. So don't listen to fools online saying, well, why didn't she do anything about it? Because she's not the president. She's the person that sits there and does nothing until the president passes away. Uh, that's the power of the vice president. So, you know, don't listen to that. And, and remember, Mark Cuban said that that she'll, in the event that, that she becomes president, Gary Gensler's gone. Donald Trump's already said out loud, if, if he's president, Gary Gensler's gone. No matter what, this is the end of the regime. And there's going to be a dynamic change in digital assets coming up soon. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. And you should have a bag of XRP. Folks, I'm about to stake 10,000 XRP in my Cryptonomy.Finance account for a nine-month yield. Okay, transaction complete. Let's move on to the next thing. Not only are you able to stake your crypto, not only are you able to earn yield off of new cryptos launching, 
can also borrow stable coins, borrow fiat, and borrow crypto. Additionally, folks, there are several big things that are in the pipeline. Strategic collaborations, the global unicorn selection expansion, uh, and then this drives significant returns by identifying and supporting high potential early stage ventures. And if you are worried about the market, don't be because Cryptonomy.com finance is prepared for market volatility. They are playing both sides of this coin. Uh, they are going long. They are going short as the market allows it. And you, my friends, have an opportunity to earn some yield off of these. Go stake at cryptonomy.finance today.